हाई एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ फोर्टीन मे वॉट अ डे इफ यू आर लॉन्ग इन द मार्केट तो निफ्टी से इज ओनली पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट अप द ब्रॉडर मार्केट डिड रियली वेल सिग्निफिकेंट नंबर ऑफ स्टॉक्स वर अप एंड अप अ लॉट टूडे सो पीपल हु सफर्ड लॉसेज इन द लास्ट फ्यू डेज would have recovered significantly today any guesses what vix would have done today cross 21 today but then it went down significantly towards the end there was a bit of profit booking in nifty and that is where vix also went up a little overall reliance up 1.2% tcs down 1.1% power size of tcs is lot lesser than reliance hdfc up icic a down atl went nowhere sbi recovered another 1% today while nifty is up for 3 days now bank nifty is actually going nowhere one large bank is up one large bank is down overall net result is not much movement nifty it tried to recover a bit however the mood is spoiled by tcs out of last 5 days tcs has been down for 4 days now same with infosys down 4 out of 5 days this is totally contrary to the fact that nasdaq actually has been down only one out of the last 5 days so indian it is selling on its own there is no such downfall coming from nasdaq side gold cross 70 2000 Brent 83 Bitcoin is down a bit right now US markets are still undecided where to go interest rates are getting cut or not that uncertainty is not letting bitcoin go up or down significantly the real action today was in reliance industry and adani enterprises adani enterprise was up 5.4% it almost seems like people were really uncertain of election results last couple of days but today there was lot more certainty in what's going to happen on 4th of june fidi data is not out yet today i am a little confused looking at the broad buying especially in the larger stocks though fii would have sold only but just have a lurking suspicion that did fii's buy significantly today they have significant short positions today unless they are planning to permanently exit It, it is time for them to cover their shorts a little two weekly expiries coming up tomorrow and day after as well as big results coming up in 3 weeks time result specific updates atel's profit was significantly down today in the q4 results 31% down they are saying some issues with the nigerian currency that cannot dampen the results of atel size by 31% market is not gonna like it this is way lower than what analysts were expecting as well yes arp hikes are coming However this result is not at all justifiable Atel stock may come into severe beating in the next couple of days Siemens while the profit was up 74% that is why perhaps Siemens was up significantly yesterday or the reason i put it in red today is they have announced a demerger of the energy arm this is typically not a good news for indian investors typically what i expect them to do is they will first demerge and then eventually they will delist or sell the company to their parent this is not good for indian investors siemens has done it multiple times that is why i always invest in abb but never in siemens union bank market doesn't like the results at all 2% down more i continue to be invested i am not selling union bank for now zomato like i mentioned yesterday while results were good still it was down 3 0.6% opened 6% down and then it recovered there is no bad news in my knowledge the results were good just healthy profit booking because it is at near all time highs tata motors recovered slightly closed up 0.5% it opened in the red only but recovered with nifty if you follow the us markets look at gamestop it is back version 2 if you don't know the story do watch the movie dumb money it's available on netflix yesterday it closed up 75% at 30.45 dollars however it touched an intraday 30 eight level so it was up more than 100% in that day today pre market it is up 130 percent it has crossed 70 dollars in pre market very briefly the story here is billions of dollars worth of shorts in this gaming company and there is a youtuber who persuades general public to buy just one or two stock public buys and squeezes out the shorters this is happening for the second time again hedge funds who have shorted game stock who are perhaps trying to take revenge have been taken for a ride again i really love the concept and i hope it happens in india also whenever public is getting swindled maybe one day the public gets together and squeezes a life out of the shorters or the larger players let's look at the sector snapshot slight change in the layout today there are 10 columns towards the right which i have added eventually they will reflect 10 days trend so this column has today's data i have added some backdated data for 2 days this is going to build up as a trend for 10 days it will tell you visually which sectors are trending green or red or alternating so that trading or investing next day is a little easier based upon the patterns let's start with diversified industrial goods adani enterprises up 5.49% that's 99% of the sector aerospace and defense my favorite right now where i have significant investments hl up 4% bl up another 2.75% mezagon docs up 
10%, data patterns 7%. This sector was rocking today. Natural gas utilities, the entire sector was up. Gale, Adani Total, Gujarat Gas, integrated hardware and software, that's Shara Technologies, up yet again, 1058. Couple of days back, it touched 1000. Let's check what was down. Food and drugs, this probably is DMART. Yes, DMART down another 2%. Personal household, the consumption pack, HUL down half percent, Godrej down two and a half percent. Overall, the sector was down 0.7 percent. Software and IT, this is a little surprising to me because NASDAQ has not been actually doing badly. Most of the IT companies are way, way away from their 52 week highs, except Zomato. Let's check Nifty now. 16 stocks down, 34 stocks up. Good market bread. What was down? TCS, ICICI, HUL, ITC, Bajaj Finance. Access, Asian, Nestle. So most of the consumptions related stocks were down. Pharma had a bad day today. Cipla down 4%. Divi's Lab down. DRL down. Volumes of select stocks were up. However, most stocks traded up with low volumes. Even Reliance volumes were 65% of normal volumes. So retail is staying out, it seems, from the market. Nifty 50, 14 stocks down, 36 up. DMART down, Zomato down, Godrej down. Chola Mandalam down, Zydas, United Spirits down, InfoH, Colgate down. Mostly consumption stocks were down. Rest all were up. Looks lot greener, lot better. Volume of the larger companies in Nifty, Next 50 were looking okay. 33 companies, which is 66% now, are in the 80% or above zone in terms of proximity to 52-week highs. This indice is rocking even today. Nifty, IT, just TCS was down. Rest all were up. How did the banks do today? ICIC down, access down, rest all was up. Volumes were not very high. Most of the banks traded somewhere 50% kind of levels in terms of volumes. Same pattern for PSU banks, lot lower volumes. Union Canara and Bank of India had okay volumes. Bank of India continued to get beaten down, another 1.4% down. Union Bank, 2% down. Rest all public sector banks were up and up significantly, anywhere between 1 and 3%. Slightly better day with my portfolio, 33,000 up. The percentage figure is still 6.4% down. I have not removed the position which I mentioned yesterday yet from the trading list. Today I was getting a little jittery feeling because of the election results coming up. I squared off three positions that I thought were long term. I intend to buy them again soon. Pidilite, Bajaj Holdings, Hindustan Aeronautics. Today I entered fresh positions into Tata Investments. That seems to be showing good patterns right now. And I bought 50 quantity. This is likely to be moved to the trading portfolio only tomorrow. Overall, probably around 20,000 profit in the three sell dates. Today, I'll share a very costly learning. It costed me around 20,000 rupees to learn this. Nothing rocket science. But if you see the two graphs, they will look very similar to you. If you need a moment, you can pause the video and observe the charts. Patterns are very similar from morning till evening but they are not of the same stocks. The first one is Reliance and second one is Nifty. What I want to highlight is when Reliance is up or down significantly, Nifty's chart actually reflects the chart of Reliance irrespective of what other players are doing. That's the power of market cap of Reliance, which is significantly higher than the remaining stocks. Maybe the top two, three might come closer to Reliance. However, unless they are up or down in the same proportion as Reliance, their movement does not make too much of a difference to the nifty. This is something I realized today somewhere around 2 o'clock. Let me go to the next graph. Yeah, so, so this graph actually became more and more closer towards the remaining part of the day after 12. Somewhere around 2 o'clock, I was still trying to salvage my positions from yesterday when I realized that reliance is up and going up further. So the short positions are not going to yield any results and that is why I squared them off. And thank God I squared them off because the losses would have been a lot more severe than what they are today. What all problems did I fix today? I fixed going against the market trend towards the middle of the day. I booked losses. I averaged lower in only one case but then I stopped and I booked losses. I stopped after four trades not two three trades and I did not leave the trading terminal open. Overall as of yesterday the losses were 3000 today 17000 so I have nearly reached my limit of 20,000 losses and these cannot be equated against the 20,000 profit I have booked in the equity trades. So I need to decide whether I should take a temporary break from FNO or maybe try one more day. 21950 P is the position where I booked losses. If I had not booked the losses 
then 11,000 further losses would have incurred. Overall PNL till yesterday was 3.5k loss. Today 17k, so I have touched 20k now. One more learning for the day was VIX pattern clearly showed that VIX was going down. So being a short in the market did not make any sense. With these two learnings, hopefully such trades in future may be more profitable. Overall for me, markets are getting more and more choppy and more and more difficult to trade. What I'm likely to do in the next 15 days is take investment positions and if they give 5-7% profit just like the three positions which I sold today then I will probably book and I'll rotate the money. I'm not sure if I'll sit on too much cash right now because markets want certainty in the results either party whether it is NDA or India whichever gets majority markets will like a majority and will shoot up significantly. Problem will be if there is no clear cut majority and it comes down to a coalition scenario. In those cases, market will come into pressure. So plan A would be to stay invested and rotate the money, book profits as it happens. Plan B would be to arrange cash if markets fall and gives opportunity, then take certain positions for the longer run. Thanks for watching. Have a great remaining day and I'll see you tomorrow.